one NBA player is a professional boxer, while another does whatever the hell this is. These are NBA players with hidden talents, and no one's got talent like Shaq. The man's conducted orchestras, starred in movies, he even became a cop. But there's one talent that tops them all, cause Shaq is a musical genius. See, back in the 90s, Shaq dropped his very first album called Shaq Diesel. And to his surprise, it set the charts on fire because it sold over a million copies and went platinum. Yeah, Shaq was gifted. That's why he went on to drop five more albums and sign a record deal worth $10 million. Man, Shaq's hidden talent got him a bag. But Miles Turner's hidden talent is costing him hundreds of thousands. See, growing up, Miles wasn't playing video games like most kids, because this dude was obsessed with Legos. And as he grew older, he built so many sets that Legos became a lifestyle. So when Miles started cashing those NBA checks, he went on a Lego shopping spree and got himself bricked up, buying all kinds of crazy sets. But in 2022, he copped the craziest piece in his entire collection, a custom 100,000 piece Lego statue of himself. And not only did the statue take 30 days to build, but it also cost Miles over a hundred grand. Man, this dude's dedicated. But so is LeBron James, cause his hidden talent almost made him quit the NBA. See, when LeBron was in high school, not only was he a basketball prodigy, he was also a freak at football. <laughs> Yeah, the kid was unstoppable. In fact, LeBron was so good at football, he received a D1 scholarship to Notre Dame at just 15 years old. But by the time he graduated high school, LeBron had fully committed to the NBA, so he was forced to hang up his cleats and quit football. Until 2011, the year LeBron's career got flipped on its head. See, team owners and players, they couldn't come to an agreement on how they should split the NBA's revenue, causing the league to go into a lockout, with games being canceled left and right. And after a couple of months, it seemed like the NBA season was over. So without basketball, LeBron came up with an idea. I had no idea how long the lockout was going to be. And, and myself and my trainer, my man Sears, we, we really started to, started to actually train to be a football player when it came to like, October and November, we started to run. We started to clock our times with the 40s. We started to add a little bit more in our bench presses and things of that nature. We started to add more sled. And, um, you know, Mike kept talking about, you know, it'd be great to go down to Irvine, Texas. <laughs> it'd be great to go down there, down there to Dallas, you know, and suit it up for the Cowboys. How great that'll be. Yeah, LeBron was trying to join the NFL. And a couple of weeks into training, he got one step closer by receiving contract offers from two NFL teams, the Cowboys and the Seahawks. And they were doing everything they could to get the go. But right before a deal could get finalized, the NBA lockout ended. So LeBron returned to basketball and gave up football for good. Damn, this man really could have went to the NFL. What a legend. And if we're talking legends, we gotta mention Kobe Bryant, cause his hidden talent made NBA history. See. Going into his final season, Kobe wanted to express his love for the game straight from the heart. So he decided to write a poem called Dear Basketball, where he talked about what basketball really meant to him. And this piece touched the hearts of so many fans across the world that Kobe took it a step further, teaming up with Disney animator Glenn Keane to turn this poem into an animated film. You gave a six-year-old boy his Laker dream and I'll always love you for it. But I can't love you obsessively for much longer. This season is all I have left to give. My heart can take the pounding. My mind can handle the grind. But my body knows it's time to say goodbye. And that's okay. I'm ready to let you go. When this film was presented, it left critics speechless. So at the 2018 Academy Awards, it won Animated Short Film of the Year, making Kobe the first NBA player to ever win an Oscar. Damn, this dude Kobe stay shocking the world. But look, not every player is that gifted. I mean, Nate Robinson's hidden talent 
needs to stay hidden, because it got his ass humiliated in front of the entire world. Back in 2020, it was announced that Nate would be getting in a boxing ring with Jake Paul. And leading up to the fight, Nate was training like a madman and talking crazy. I know y'all see this though, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me, stop playing with me. You're fighting only Shut YouTube, up. you and your that brother only anything. fight YouTubers, that's it bro, so. You're gonna fight a real athlete and for the first you time fought? in your life. What you gotta say for Jake Paul, bro? I don't gotta say no words, bro. You know, you better be working. I know that, Jake. Say no game. Sorry, Jake, I gotta do this for the culture, bro. I just wanna prove that, you know, I'm the greatest athlete, one of the greatest athletes to ever walk this earth. And that's the plan. And so tomorrow, you'll see why. I guarantee you my homies will whoop all your homies. Talk your talk, King. Feel me? Real talk. Let's get it. When the fight actually happened, it blew up in his face. Yeah, Nate got knocked the f out in just the second round, and he still hasn't heard the end of it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Come on, Nate, man. Come on, baby. Hey, y'all gonna talk wild shit? I swear to God, I knew Jake was gonna beat the s*** out of. Hey, fam. You got knocked the f out, Nate. You gotta knock the f out, boy! God damn! This man Jake served up a knuckle sandwich, but Serge Ibaka is serving up something even better. Cause this dude is a master chef, and in 2018, he decided to share his cooking skills with the world. So he created a YouTube show where he cooks mouth-watering meals for some of his closest friends. I'm talking fresh worms for DeMar DeRozan, or a perfectly cooked pig brain for Danny Green. I mean, this stuff looks delicious, but no one's had it better than Clay Thompson. Because in 2022, he made his first appearance on the show, and Serge cooked him something so yummy, Clay couldn't even handle it. Today I made you Caterpillar Zero. Ooh, ooh, Caterpillar, huh? Yeah, but they're so cute. You see, this is the head wire. That's cute. I like the head. Mm -hmm. All right, come on. <whistles> Not bad, what? <laughs> <laughs> Man, Serge is serving up on and off the court. And so is Giannis. Because if you thought he could dominate with a basketball, just watch what the man can do with the guitar. No. Oh, my man can stroke it. All he needs now is a vocalist. And uh, I think I found one. Because James Harden can sing. I know that you want me, cause I look the best. Let's go out for seafood. We'll have a <laughs> Damn, that was beautiful. Eh, but anyways, we gotta move on to Russell Westbrook. Because throughout the years, Russ has worn all kinds of flamboyant outfits. But I bet you didn't know that he's the one designing them. See, growing up, Russ had a passion for fashion, and he told himself that one day he'd be a world-famous clothing designer. So in 2017, Russ decided to use some of his NBA money to create his own clothing line. My brand is called Honor the Gift. It's for the inner city, it's for our underserved communities, and you know, the whole point is to inspire people through fashion. It's important that people use their gift to do whatever they put their mind to. Yeah, and Russ's talent is shaking up the fashion industry. Because over the past few years, Honor the Gift has made some moves. Hosting pop-up shops in Paris, collabing with Nike and the NBA, and even selling clothes for charity. But in 2022, Russ took his brand to new heights by launching the very first Honor the Gift store, located in the heart of LA. Now look, I wish every hidden talent was as cool as Westbrook's, because Rajon Rondo's hidden talent makes kids cry. Yeah, back in 2013, Rondo suffered a season-ending knee injury, and without basketball, he figured, why not spend some time with the community? So he hit up the Boys and Girls Club of Boston, and it was here that Rondo did something devious, because his hidden talent is Connect Four. Like, Rondo has never lost a game. So he started challenging 
every kid he could find, beating them all one by one. Connect for I'm the champ. And if that wasn't enough, he started playing multiple games at once, just to add to their embarrassment. Yeah, it was a massacre. Uh, this dude is twisted. But at least he's good at Connect 4, because Donovan Mitchell's hidden talent got his ass clowned by Snoop Dogg. See, in 2018, the NBA thought it'd be a fun idea to host a talent show. So going into All-Star Weekend, they invited players to share their skills with the world. Hello everyone, I'm Dwight Howard from the Charlotte Hornets and my off the court talent is impersonations. Hey, Charles, you don't have a ring. Hi, I'm Terrence Ross with the Orlando Magic. My off court talent is gaming. I'm Mike Muscala of the Atlanta Hawks and my non-basketball playing skill is rapping. Call me Mike Jaws of the best kept secret. Coming from Atlanta where the Hawks stay screeching. Yeah. But when Donovan took the stage, he stole the show. Just, uh, not in the way that he wanted to. I've been banging pots and pans since I was like a little kid, my mom told me. And if you ask me, I don't think he did that bad. But there was one person watching who was not a fan, Snoop Dogg. What did you just say when you were watching that? He was a beat off, like it was like, you know, when you when you sing and you, you go into a certain uh, uh, a drum pattern or, or, or a melody, he was like a beat off. Is there some some talent oh, potentially he there? He good, but he just never be in a band. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Don't quit your day job, Donald. No, he, hey, so he, would, he, would, he would never get the laminate, I'm in the band. No, <laughs> my brother, not even the warm up band. Oh, okay. Yeah. Don't even caught all the smoke. But that's not what happened to Steph Curry, because his hidden talent is turning him into a GOAT. See, back in 2012, Steph wanted to give his game an upgrade, so he found a new trainer and adopted one of the strictest workouts in the NBA, overload training. And this method is no joke, because when Steph trains, he's forced to push his body to its limit until he can barely breathe. And when he's finally at his breaking point, Steph caps off every workout by placing giant bags of sand right under his ribs, all to train his breathing. And it sounds crazy, but it worked. Because according to Steph's personal trainer, Brandon Payne, this regimen led to his hidden talent, the ability to control his own heartbeat. In the span of a single timeout, Steph can slow down his breathing and lower his heart rate from 120 beats per minute to just 80. So if you've ever wondered how does Steph run around the court all game long and never get tired, now you know. But hey man, for some players, being talented is a problem. Cause Nikola Jokic's hidden talent got him suspended. See, when Jokic was a kid, there was one thing he loved above all, horse racing. Yeah, the kid was a cowboy. And in 2016, Jokic giddied up big time cause he used his first NBA check to build his very own horse stable called Dreamcatcher. And it was here that Jokic is turning an entire team of horses into racing champions. But in 2021, Jokic's talents got a little unstable because during a race in Serbia, one of his horses ran in the wrong lane and got disqualified. And this pissed off one of Jokic's teammates so much that he literally punched a referee, sparking outrage in the horse community. So later that week, Jokic officially got the boot because his stable got banned from their racing club for six months. <sighs> this dude horsed around and found out. But look, dog, there's one more player we got to talk about because Jalen Brown is a genius and he's using his talents to change the world. See, when Jalen was a kid, there was one person who inspired him the most, his mom. She raised him and his brother by herself, all while going to college to get a degree. And that kind of love for knowledge inspired Jalen. So growing up, he became a whiz kid. He learned how to play chess, became great at piano. Hell, he even taught himself Spanish and Arabic, all thanks to his mom. And in 2015, Jalen achieved his greatest accomplishment yet, being accepted to the number one ranked public college in America, UC Berkeley. And he wasn't there just to have fun, because Jalen was studying magnetic chemistry which is the most difficult major he could have chosen. But in 2015, his thirst for knowledge sparked controversy 
because scouts were literally saying that Jalen was too smart for the NBA. Funny story, I was on the phone, just they didn't know I was on the phone, so I was listening to them talk about me when I was on the phone, so I was getting all the information. That was one of the things that I remember the GM say, well, we're worried that he is just too smart, he asks too many questions, and is it love for the game, is it there? And but in the end, he silenced all the doubters. Because after being drafted by the Celtics, Jalen vowed to use his knowledge to change the world. So when he's not playing basketball, He's holding lectures on education reform, giving speeches on social justice, and even organizing peaceful protest. So clearly, the guy's a visionary, and he's using his talents to make a difference. Damn, it's crazy Jalen's got this side to him no one really talks about. But then again, there's a lot you don't know about the NBA. Like, uh, I bet you had no idea that the NBA banned yo mama jokes. Or that you can be fined millions just for being overweight. Look. If that sounds interesting, then you need to click on this video right here. These are NBA rules you didn't know exist. Trust me, dog, it's a banger. So just go ahead and click on it, all right? Hey, yo, come here. This video's over. What are you doing? Get that click on the video and get the out of here. Click it.